A lot of outrage after people were caught taking selfies at the site of a deadly New York City building explosion. The New York Post put this one on the cover of its Sunday paper with the headline, Village Idiots. And here's another selfie at the scene. But it isn't the first time selfie takers have sparked outrage. Recently, two Americans were caught carving their initials into a wall at the Colosseum oh. in Rome, then taking a picture. And an Alabama girl snapped a selfie at Auschwitz. What is wrong with people here, Ed? I mean, what is happening in society? I, I'm, I'm a fan of the selfie. You can look at my Instagram. I love it. But there is a time right. and a place There's for a things. There's a lot. I was walking through Times Square this morning. I saw somebody with a selfie stick, and they're staying in front of the Cookie Monster or right. Spider-Man or whatever. Fine. That's Great, funny. Fun. It's goofy. You know, just share it with your friends. But to take a selfie in yeah, front of a building. Yeah, but the president does it. Now, well, now you've got a whole new generation no and i'm not i'm not just picking on the older adults and, and protecting the little kids although as a mom i do that often but you've got you've got a bar that's moving now that that gold standard is right, but you said earlier be. where are the so parents in a, another context you've got on a weekend we're talking islamic yeah. state we're talking all sorts of things and you've got a, a president with a selfie stick that's as right. tall as i am taking pictures of i can't get my hand in the cookie jar <laughs> like right, i mean but, i'm not making this up but that's when you different move than the a bar selfie in front of a burning building there's got to be a context the bar, to it though yeah, right i mean the bar. The surrounding con i'm not blaming president yeah. obama i'm just saying that it's not happening in a vacuum you have people in authority in positions of authority doing all sorts of silly stuff. Well, I'll agree selfies. with you on in an earlier context. What about saying, Nelson Mandela's funeral? Selfie with the mm -hmm. president. Yeah. I'm just I saying think it. culturally, though, Andrea, I think we're becoming so self-absorbed that people just don't take a minute to realize what they're doing. They're so absorbed in their own moment, particularly young people I've seen in schools, that they don't even take a minute to acknowledge the scene behind them and what they're actually capturing. Well, could there be anything else happening besides what's happening with them? Yeah. I mean, it's the selfish selfie, hence the word selfie, self-celebration <laughs> generation, right? Yeah. It's all about self-celebrating. There's no such thing as TMI, as Lena Dunham says. Everything is important. So if everything is important, then nothing's important, right? If it's all risen to the level of heightened, you know, emphatic, is everything so important? I just ate a salad, America. Let me take a picture. Let me show you me eating the salad. Look at me. Ooh, eating the salad. Isn't that amazing? No, it's not, Andrea. No one cares. I mean, I'll take selfies now and then, but you see a generation, and as Harris points out, that the bar has been moved, and let me tell you something, we're tripping over it. Right. right. And it's been moved so low, we are, are stumbling over it. There are simple of taste, and people should be smart enough to realize you don't take a selfie at Auschwitz. Why yeah. do we even have to tell someone that? It's Could just, it be it's just so asked. easily that it's some of it is young people and they'll they'll learn and they'll figure it out and it's just youthful mistakes? Could we say that? Can we make that argument? I remember, I remember my dad used to say, think, think, <laughs> think. They need to think before they post. Yeah. You know, kids yeah. need to learn that. Absolutely. And parents, make sure you tell them.